In this equation, we have sodium hydroxide and iron three chloride. It's a double displacement reaction. This Fe and the Na, they change places. So we end up with FeOH3, and then the Na now is with the Cl. We have NaCl. To balance it, let's count the atoms up. We have one sodium here. And then because I have this OH here, and I have OH over here, I'm just gonna write OH, and that'll make things a lot easier. So I have one of these OH, it's the hydroxide ion. I have one iron, three chlorides. Over here on the product side, I have one sodium. Then my OH, I have three. This three applies to everything. So I have three of these hydroxide ions, one iron and one Cl. Looks like I'll start and balance these hydroxides. So I could put a three right here in front of the NaOH. That applies to everything here. That means I have OH, three OHs, so one times three, that'll give me three of the OHs, and then sodiums, I have three of those, one times a three. That gives me three sodiums. So I fixed the OHs, now the sodiums are off. Why don't we go over here on the products and fix the sodiums? So I need three of them, and I only have one. I put a three here, and this three applies to everything. So now my CLs, one times three, that equals three, which is a good thing because now those are balanced. My sodiums, one times three, that fixes the sodium. And in fact, everything is now balanced. By counting the hydroxide ion is just one thing, and chemically it behaves as one thing, that makes the balancing quite a bit easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaOH plus FeCl3. Thanks for watching.